I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Zen Graphene Solutions, a next-gen nanomaterials technology company, has been advised by Trebor RX Corp that their surgical masks with Zen's biocidal coating have passed Health Canada testing requirements as a level 2 medical device. The coated masks were tested at a Health Canada approved facility in line with American Society for testing and material standards. Trebor intends to begin marketing the Zen coated masks immediately with products available available in April as both companies ramp up their production to meet the strong demand Trebor is receiving. Greg Fenton, Zen CEO, stated, When we announced our initial agreement with Trebor late last year, it was truly a historic day for Zen. Now, with the requisite approvals and safety data in place, our initial agreement is poised to become a commercial reality. Importantly, we bring a new innovative product with an added level of protection to our frontline workers and the public while setting the stage for what we believe is substantial growth potential and tremendous value creation. We are extremely excited to have achieved this milestone with our partners at Trebor and expect the demand for personal protective equipment with biocidal protection to grow in tandem with our relationship. George Irwin, Trebor CEO, added, Trebor is excited to be launching a new game-changing four-ply mask technology with our partners at Zen. The additional layer of protection from Zen's biocidal coating against COVID-19 and various other bacterial and fungal pathogens, including the common cold virus, is the disruptor we need to get ahead of this and the other mutations of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. We are working towards an April production start in both our Collingwood, Ontario and Edmonton, Alberta facilities. This this announcement is the culmination of many hours of hard work by the people at both Zen and Trebor, and it shows that innovative technology is alive and well in Canada as we work towards making lives safer every day. Here Dr. Francis Dubé, Zen's Executive Chairman, with some additional comments. Thank you, Cassandra, and it's a pleasure to be here today. We've had quite some news this week, a few a few big news releases. Uh, on Monday, we talked about um, our final phase two cytotoxicity results, which were really spectacular. Um, you know, this study really was to evaluate the safety of our compound. Uh, it was a seven-day repeated dose in animals that we, um, you know, we got to see how well they behave with the uh, product at three doses, low, medium, and high dose. And even at the high dose, which is something like 30,000 times the minimum inhibitory concentrations that we had from the Mount Sinai report, the rats did great. So we were you know, really pleased with that safety profile of our product. So that was very key for us. And that was released on Monday. Um, we did have another uh, significant news release on Tuesday, and that one is one that we're really proud of. Uh, we've been working for this for a long time now, and that was actually getting our Health Canada uh, approval on a mask that included our coding. So uh, Trevor RX, our partners here, uh, applied to Health Canada uh, with their mask as a four-ply mask, including a layer that had our uh, graphene coating on them. And uh, they passed for a level one and a level two ASTM uh, mask uh, under Health Canada. So we're, uh, that's a big moment for us. It's a, uh, it's a marker for us that we're very proud of. And uh, that'll open the, the gates for us to uh, start marketing and selling products um, very shortly here. Uh, we believe that we will be marketing. Well, it'll be under Trebor RX that'll do the marketing. And we will have products available starting in April, uh, which is quite exciting. Uh, we did have another news release today. Again, it's been a really busy week, uh, but we've signed a uh, partnership agreement with our partners at Constant Lakes First Nation and how to move our graphite deposit forward. And that's another big milestone for us uh, as well. So uh, it's been a really big week for us. We're so proud of all our team and uh, we've got great things to come. 2021 is going to be a big year for us. Thank you again for your time. Zen is a next-gen nanomaterials technology company developing graphene-based technologies that help protect people and the environment. Zen is currently focused on commercializing a patent-pending graphene-based coating with 99% biocidal activity, including against COVID-19 and the potential to use similar graphene compounds as pharmaceutical products against infectious diseases.
The company has a significant R&D pipeline with an interest in monomers, polymers, metal alloys, corrosion coatings, biosensors, along with the production of graphene oxide and graphene quantum dots. Labs in Japan, UK, Israel, USA and Canada have independently demonstrated that Zen's Albany Pure Graphite is an ideal precursor material that easily converts or exfoliates to graphene using a variety of mechanical, chemical and electrochemical methods. Additionally, the company owns the unique Albany Graphite project which provides the company with a potential competitive advantage in the graphene market. Zen's Albany Graphite deposit is located in northeastern Ontario, near the community of Constance Lake First Nation and the town of Hearst, about 30 kilometres north of the Trans-Canada Highway. The company cautions that it is not making any express or implied claims that its product can eliminate, cure or contain the COVID-19 virus at this time. The shares are trading at $3. For more information, please visit the company's website, zengraphene.com. Contact Greg Fenton, CEO, at 437-220-8140 or by email at gfenton at zengraphene.com. George Irwin, CEO of Trebor, can be reached at 416-625-7499 or by email at george.irwin at treborrx.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.